So first of all, I want to say make sure y'all follow me at Royalties World CEO right there in the corner. We about to get into a nice little video where I vent, I rant, and let y'all know how I really feel after reading these comments. I think that we should do this once a week. Shout out to two. I got this from her. S and T. Yeah, let's tap in. Grab your drink. First of all, I want to say shout out to everybody. All right. Uh, shout out to everybody that has been tuned in to my um, my bag season. You know, it is a time for me to progress. It is time for me to uh, give y'all all of me. It is time for me to. Be in the happiest place I've ever been. It is time for me to get in my bag. Right? So I want y'all to know that's the only reason why I'm making this video. For no other reason. Now, take a sip of my water before we tap in. Toast up to y'all for tuning in, man. I love y'all so much. Now, I want to say I'm a person that is misunderstood. I've always been a person that has been misunderstood for a very, very, very long time. You know, since, I mean, I can remember. Um, people take things that I say and uh, don't get it, you know. And my dad has been that way forever, right? He just told me the other day I'm a misunderstood person. I'm like, Dad, me too. You know, sometimes me and him bump heads because we so much alike, right? And um, my dad told me things when I was younger, like you always be misunderstood. You never have friends. My daddy told me that you always be misunderstood and you never have friends. And I just like, damn, daddy, maybe that was a curse, you know? But it wasn't. It was a a, a gift actually, because you gotta be a gifted person to be able to see uh, some of the things that happens in this world that can be good or can be bad now in the process of seeing these things i have morals okay it's just a certain code that i'm abiding by and it's a certain code that uh i ain't i ain't going for i mean there's nothing you could do after you cross me to be honest with you but i want to speak about this situation because did you hear what i just said there's nothing you could do if you cross me and I have morale in certain situations. I want to make this very, very, very clear. Spicy Gang came up. Queen and Clarence met. And it was all faith for me. I feel like. They got together. They said that they was going to make a business move. They said that they it was going to be a business transaction. Queen was there for the money. And so was Clarence. Period. And whatever came out of it. That's what was going to come out of it. But the point was to get the money. Now, I want y'all to know everybody gets together to get the money. If you got a job, you got a manager, you got a CEO, you got a uh, the person that's running all operations behind the scenes. You have people <coughs> to run certain things in your company, in their company, whatever. In order for you to make more money, a lot of times you do have to work with other people or you have to talk to other people. Like I'm on my live stream and they help me come up with video ideas. Some things I say, they're like, nah, Neek. Some things I say, they're like, yeah, Neek. You know what I'm saying? We all have to work together, right? And some of us can work better with or without others. Neek, where you getting to? Clarence and Queen worked better together. Simple and plain, right? They could get along together more. They uh they know where each other's coming from. They they ended up working and it just turned into love right in front of our eyes. It turned into love, man. They fucking loved each other, had a kid, beautiful child, and they became a fucking team, a a a, a, a dynamic duo. Okay, and we all congratulated that. We was like, yes, bitch, yes. Okay, do y'all thing <clears throat> now. Here comes Chris. A lot of y'all thought I hated Chris, which is crazy to me 
because I always told y'all, I don't hate this man. You cannot hate a person that you don't know. Y'all, that is crazy. And for some of y'all that hate people that you don't know, you need help. <laughs> you cannot hate a person that has never done anything to you. Do you get what I'm saying? It's crazy. Okay. Chris ain't never did shit to me. Nothing. But I just wanted him to make better decisions. I wanted him to come out of his demise strong. I wanted him to stand on 10 toes like a man. Grab them nuts. You get what I'm like for real. I wanted him to. Nigga, yo, it's me. I'm here and I ain't going nowhere is what I wanted. You know? And I wanted him to. I wanted him to be great and I wanted him to use his brain instead of his emotions in these situations. Now, is that easier said than done? Hell no. Y'all seen me in my demise. It took me about a year and a half to actually to come back to who I really am. Now I'm here. I am who I really am. I'm happy now. Do you get what I'm saying? I'm very, very happy. Despite what anybody has to say to you. Don't nobody lay on my pillow at night but me. I'm happy as fuck. Okay? I got shit in order. There's certain kinks that I need to get together. And that's with business though. But personally, I'm happy than a bitch. You know what I'm saying? I went through my shit. I grew through my shit. I picked my nuts up too that I don't have. And I, I, I stood on my two feet. You know? Despite all the shit that I went through, despite the people, despite the fake love, despite the fake ass people who left, the fake ass people who unfollowed, the people that be talking, like, I don't give a fuck about none of that. I'm so happy, okay? And it was a blessing to get rid of a lot of these folks, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, to be honest with you. Um, it made me a better me. I can see, I can hear, I can feel. You get what I'm saying? Y'all, the whole time I said, Chris need better friends, did I not? Chris need better friends. He just need, or he need to be alone so he can feel. You know, a lot of times, especially when you are an empath and you got people around you, all you feel is them. Have y'all not noticed that? Some people might not know psychologically what goes on when you around others, but energies and vibes is a motherfucker. You Okay. So you're feeling vibes and energies from other people and it messes with your spirit because sometimes spiritually, some people don't need to be around you. Somebody asked me before, don't you think y'all just not spiritually yoked is what she said. And I was like, damn, you're right. Because with everybody, you're not. He don't have friends now. He just be chilling at the crib. Nigga don't want to be around nobody. He already said, I'm over people. I don't want no drama. I'm done being who I used to be. And now it's so attractive because it's like, damn, Chris is finally back. Because y'all don't forget, Chris and Queen, we did fall in love with. All right. Clarence and Queen, we fell in love with again. Okay. Here's Chris and Leslie. A lot of people think that is weird with Chris and Leslie. They think that is weird think that is so fucking weird okay now in the beginning i did i'm like bro what the fuck is going on here and then the first video i'm like ah okay the second video i'm like okay we're getting somewhere but let's just see where we're going and then chris started to come out now we never knew leslie let's just be clear you know respectfully to her but chris started to come out you could see he was getting back to his fucking self the man smiling you could tell he happy. He just, you could tell he is just at peace with some shit. You know, you could tell when people are uh, a little more at peace with some shit than they were before. And I'm so happy that he is at peace. And if you don't have that happiness in your heart, I don't know what to tell you. Clarence and Queen is out on tour. Nigga tour. When they first met, they wasn't on tour. Do you know how happy I am for that? Get that fucking money. They ain't got to say a word to me, y'all. Y'all don't get that either. I don't have to speak none of these people to be happy for. Them. It's in my heart to be happy for a person. It always has been. Not Chris back to him. I'm saying all this to say, y'all I'm a grown ass woman. What goes on behind other people closed doors, 
I truly don't give a fuck about. Okay? On YouTube, I am here to entertain. That is my job. And I'm here to entertain y'all. And I'm also here to fucking give you some lessons too. And some, some positivity. Let these people do them. Whatever goes on behind their closed doors. Really don't fucking matter. It's not, it's not hurting you. Some of these people in the comments is with the shit. Like Nick, damn, I thought you was just riding queen. But come to find out you ain't that bad. Thank y'all. Welcome back. Welcome back. Okay. Y'all, I don't hate anyone. And you definitely can't hate a person you never met in your life that never did anything to you. I genuinely want happiness for everyone. And I'm so glad Chris has found his happiness. And I, not to say him and Leslie about to get married. No, I'm saying he found his happiness within him. Okay, not Leslie brought him happiness. He is happy with him. Do you get what I'm saying? We don't know much about Leslie, but she look happy to me too. Okay, so that's what I have to say. And uh, <laughs> that's it. That's all for me. But Nick has always said she hoped Chris get his act together. I've always said that. Now, you know, nobody could ever take that away from me. You get what I'm saying? I've always had good intentions with everything that I say. Whether you believe it or not, you know? A lot of people have said so much about me, man. That shit roll off like water now. Dust. You know what I'm saying? Dice it, it roll right on off. Keep it moving, you know. That's cool with me. Um, but if you're back, welcome back. We're gonna tap into these videos whenever they put them out. And if Queen and Clarence, uh, no, yeah, Queen and Clarence do a video, we reacting to that shit too. Like, <laughs> I'm happy either way. You know what I'm saying? So I just wanted y'all to know that y'all be blessed, be happy for folks. All right. I pray that Cl uh, Clarence and Queen are on tour and safe and do what they do. Same for Chris and Leslie with their group activities going on. And that's it. That's all for me. Y'all leave something down in the comments. Tell me how you feel. It's an open door policy with me. All right. Let me get back to my damn drink. Mm -hmm. <laughs>